normally you can evaluate it. You can kind of it, uh, iterate it. Okay, so uh, why not just try uh, our previous example for loop, right? You can use uh, I in something, right? So this this syntax I in a collection or in a range, okay, is quite useful. Now A is my collection. So if I want to print out uh, the collection uh, on the, the element, okay, I can print I. Yes, yes, yes. You see uh, my A has a three element, right? One, two, three. So I kind of print it out. Okay. So what about try another collection? Still, you can evaluate the tuple, right? So print I. Yeah, no problem. Okay, and. Set print. Yeah, this is uh, your set data, right? Ten three one hundred five. Okay. Finally, I in in dictionary. Okay. Dictionary. When you do this, uh, kind of evaluate it, uh, you will find that uh, you you cannot directly retrieve the old information. It is because uh, dictionary, the way you retrieve it, you need to base on a key. You will need to base on a key, and in this case, the key is just one, two, three. The value is this. So if you know. Uh, uh, later on, we will talk more about this, how to retrieve. Okay, and that's it. Okay, and what can we do with with the list? Mm, we know A, right? What about A0? A2? Yeah, A. So you know that uh, A it's a list of a number in this case. So you can kind of consider uh, those number, those number, uh, they are sitting in the location. Uh, this is A. Uh, location 0, 1, 2. Now the value inside is 1, 2, 3. Okay. What if I kind of add something here, okay, in this unit? Can I kind of put the letter A here? Yes, you can if you know how to how to do it correctly, okay? Um, you can do this, okay? Um, you can use uh, two ways to do this. One is use a uh, uh, function uh, because a is a list you can use a pen you append a uh, element to it okay you print it out okay now you have a full element okay this is one way uh, another way you can kind of uh, kind of create a new element by a uh, list operator for example uh, you can add a now add another list okay but this operator is quite unique because the both side need to be the uh, equal list okay now I put another list C what does this mean uh, a is the list add another list the inside element only two B and C, and see what happened. Okay, we are actually create a new list uh, having having six element. Okay, they could be have a data different data type in it.
Yeah. So um, of course you can store this back to A. Kind of override it. Okay. So A now become this, and you can you can kind of evaluate it. Okay. Can kind of evaluate it. Hmm. So a lot of a lot of operator, a lot of uh, features. Uh, now we can do this in uh, 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 in this. Even uh, some feature we know in the strings uh, slicing. Do you remember slicing? Uh, for example, A is a list. Can 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 I slice from from one to uh, to five? To four, only one, two, three. These three element, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can slice it and create a new one. Okay. So, uh, those kind of uh, feature uh, is pretty pretty useful. Okay, in in uh, maintain or manage information. Uh, especially for the data analysis, and some people think that if you have learned some uh, high-level language, okay, uh, we talk about array, but in here Python's list is a is an object, okay, it's a special kind of array, okay, and it's a a little bit like a a ring, okay, uh, because uh, you can you can access this element. Uh, you can see its lens. They have a six lens, so uh, number number zero one two three four five. Okay, this is the fifth element. So if you access fifth element, you gotta see. And you cannot you cannot access the number six because the number six is out of the range. Okay, you got an error. Okay, be careful. And but you can use the negative number. Okay, it is tricky part to indicate to indicate uh, to indicate this one. Uh, what does this mean? We now have a uh, the sorry. Uh, our index is a zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And the value inside it is one, two, three, A, B, C. Okay, so the length of the list is six. Okay, and you cannot you cannot do this. No, this is uh, disallowed. But if you said that, okay. Minus one, minus one. Okay, you are actually accessing something from here, from here. So this is minus one. Okay, I'm using another another pen. No, no, no. I'm. I need to use change the color. Okay. Minus one. Uh, this one minus two. Okay. And minus three. So from this direction, you can use the negative number. Okay. From this direction, you use a, a study from zero and the positive number. And the maximum element you can access is actually your length minus one okay this is a little bit tricky 
But if you familiar with it, it is actually quite handy, quite handy. Okay, uh, this allow us to consider to uh, this array as a circular. Okay, kind of two and they connect it together. Okay. So I will see you uh, in the part two section. I will be talking more about the list and their operators and some uh, useful method. Okay. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.